Hello! This is Mac Bros. MacBros.com or Facebook.com slash MacBros. It depends on where you want to see me. And this little fella. Oh, sorry. She fella. Little girl. Is grumpy kitty. Tired. <laughs> um, this tutorial is how do you get something like the kitty cat in the very front of a background that you want. Let's say we want tired and grump. I'm sorry, it's not tired, is it? I got this whole thing wrong. Grump a cat. Oh, it is tired. Is it tired? If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, the Gobi Cat needs to be in front of a background such as this. You know, just the destruction. Something that she approves of. It has to happen. It has to happen. Um, so, how do we do that? We're just going to, like, Erase everything? <laughs> no. Here's a really easy way. You're going to go to your tools. Alright. You're going to select the quick selection tool. Alright. And Mac users, I don't do that shit. Okay. I'm just going to go and tell you where it goes. Quick selection tool. And if it's on a piece, I'm just going to say PC. And, and you guys know, you guys know it. Alright. So. We're just going to color it. Trust me, you're probably going, what? What's he doing? Like, every time I do that, it just, like, ends up selecting sh shit that I don't want. Oh, man. Oh, no. See, look. Oh, no. It just selected the whole world again. Ah, trust me. Okay. Turn around. Control Alt. And just remove the world that you don't need. All right. Trust me. Now, normally, um, listen. I'm actually doing some laundry, so I have to be right back. All right. Give me a second. I'll pause this. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, wh where was I? Ah, laundry. Eh? We all have to do it. It's stuff we have to do. And we want to do it the quickest way and just get it out of the way. Just like what I'm trying to tell you. So, right back to uh, Alt minus, I, like I said, I was going to choose a bigger brush, but I just wanted you to see how easy it is. That's a smaller one. All right. Now, Photoshop is actually learning. It's actually learning. It's actually learning. All right. Okay. Now, and, and trim it off if you can, if you want. Go bigger. Go bigger. If you want. The thing is, you're training Photoshop what to select when you do this. Back and forth. All you do. <laughs> but that's what the magic is. Something really weird. Okay. Um, now, you, it, it's a little bit jagged and everything, right? And there's a bunch of hair right in here that I would really like to grab. You know what? We're going to grab. We're going to actually grab Grumpy Cat's whiskers too. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can just have a very... You don't have to be perfect here. That's what I'm trying to tell you. See, look over here. I, I didn't... I can probably add a little bit more, but, you know, big deal. We have a very close 
representation of what we want captured right so what we're going to do over here we're going to go up to select and we're going to redefine edges all right and um, if you're not in black and white here make sure you select black and white okay and when you do that after you do that make sure you click on smart radius now depending on what your picture is you're going to want to adjust this uh, radius now in my case I want a furry kitty cat right um, so let's just do this okay we got some fur see that did you see the fur on right there okay but that's not all uh -uh. oh damn it I didn't want to do that I didn't want to okay that so I'm gonna go back in remember the the uh, whiskers where were the whiskers we're just gonna take our brush and we're gonna paint over the area <gasps> there they are Now, you don't want to go crazy around. See, that, that's the whiskers we wanted. Um, suppose we can get rid of this, right? Did you see what I just did there? I, I just removed some gray area. The, the gray area is, is not good stuff. We don't want that. You'll see that over here. But it keeps coming back, so we're going to delete it again. Well, anyway, after you, after you see what you want, don't spend too much time on this. If you overdo it, you're going to you're gonna blotch it up, and you're going to make it look like shit. But seriously, the best thing you can do for fur is this. And after you're done, just click on OK. All right? Now what we're going to do is, in this case, we're going to select inverse because right now what we have, look, we just have that pretty little pretty guy just all selected. We don't want that. We want everything around it. So we're going to control shift I or just do what I did and delete. Delete. <sighs> there's my little girl now we're gonna just uh, we have everything we want control D to do select that uh, just or control C um, in, into the other one that I have already set up control V uh, uh, uh. The whiskers and everything are there. No, no, the whiskers and everything are there. I'll just move it around so you guys can see it. <laughs> a lot better than having to scrape out a whole bunch of hairs around, isn't it? But that's how you do it. Isn't that cool? All you have to do is just use this perfect, perfect tool right here. You have it. Hope this helps. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't hope this helps. It will help. You can't undo a furry critter unless you do it this way. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I I just don't know what to do. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Uh, this needs serious editing, doesn't it?